Hello everyone and welcome to another video. It's Evan here from Learning Wars for Kids and today I am joined by the Director of Education for Learning Wars for Kids, Shanna, and a very talented developer, Constantine. How are you guys? Hello. Doing good, doing good. How you doing? Good, good. I'm doing good. I'm doing well. How about you, Shanna? I'm doing great. Great. Excited to be here. Awesome. Awesome. So Constantine here was recruited by Learning Wars for Kids to help create a Roblox tycoon game for everyone to enjoy that helps teach kids about planning skills and how those skills are helpful in our day-to-day -day life. The game is nearly finished, and we will have some footage here of what it looks like so far, you know, post-edit. Uh, we are super excited for it, and we wanted to let our audience know who you are and how you became such a talented developer. So, I mean, without further ado, Shanna, you could start out. Yeah, so where did we find you in the first place? I'm pretty sure Evan contacted me through YouTube. Um, I don't know if he found me on YouTube or it was from LinkedIn, but one or the other. Definitely, most likely the YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, me and me and a, another coworker of ours, Justin, were scouring through YouTube and Twitter and stuff, and we found you on YouTube and we contacted you. Um, how's the channel going? Uh, I slowly but surely on the rise. Uh, lots of new fans and people are coming to my channel, and it's it's been a really long journey so far, but it, it's been worth it. I'd say um, just just growing, you know, just slowly, but it's it's working out right now. I've been posting some fun fun videos, and uh, I recently just did a really different video for my content, and it's it's doing really good already. So awesome! Are you still on that grind for that yeah, sixty thousand? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm trying to get to fifty thousand as soon as possible, but you know. It's it's going good. It's going good. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Best of luck. Yeah, Go ahead, Shanna. So there's a lot of stuff that you could make a YouTube channel about. So what made you choose Roblox as this is the thing I'm going to start creating content for? Well, I noticed that there's like only a few famous Roblox Studio tutorial YouTubers out there, and one day I was just like looking for a tutorial myself, and I couldn't find it. I decided to teach it myself and build it my own way. And then I realized that like, I've always wanted to do YouTube since I was a little kid and I have been like, I've been doing YouTube since I was little and I decided to just post the video that I couldn't find. And then it just basically kickstarted like everything and just blew up. And um, I mean, I Roblox is just such a easy, like, I guess you could say it's more, it's more kid friendly. So it's a really nice environment, I guess you could say. So I, I'd say it's like Minecraft and Roblox is a great environment for, you know, kids and people my age. So that's kind of what I started on. Um, but yeah. Well, just... Awesome. Awesome. So what was the first game you played that made you feel like you wanted to make your own game? Well, the first game I played and basically made was um, Coco. Um, it was a fun, trendy, like horror piggy game on Roblox. And it was developed with a friend of mine. Um, and it blew up and gained around 13 million player visits, which is like a ton. And I decided, like, you know, why not make my own game? And um, I basically have been doing games for a while now, like, just on Unity and Unreal Engine and, like, other programming languages like Java and Python. And I was, like, kind of – Roblox is, like, pretty fun. Like, I love playing Roblox, and it's such, like, a great environment. And, like, there's so many things you can do in it. So I was, like, you know, I, I might as well just – build something on Roblox and um, it, you know, it just kind of got everything started. Cause I, I love the idea of building my own game and earning money from it or something like that. So it's really nice. Wow. So you mentioned it... Unreal and Unity and, um, and Python. Yeah. So did you have to take classes in school? Like, did you teach yourself how to use these? Did you use other YouTube videos? Yeah. So um, I am a self-taught like person, like a, I'm a self learner. I, teach myself everything and I haven't really taken any classes um, I kind of learned it the hard way through Google and just YouTube and that's kind of another reason why I decided to do like a Roblox channel is because like I've searched everything up and it's always been on YouTube and it's like oh well like people need these like you know it's, if you're learning a programming language like there's YouTube and that's a free class so might as well make a channel off of it and then you know gain money from it or something in audience and it's uh, I just I love teaching myself and it's nice if that I teach myself, I teach others in the process. Like sometimes I film a video and I'm just like literally learning on the spot while just teaching them. It's really funny. Um, but I uh, have took like other classes like in school for programming. Um, but, you know, I learned the rest of it myself, like Lua and everything for Roblox. I've taken Java 
in school, but you know, it, it just gets you in tune with like how programming works and you know what to learn about it. So it's a lot of fun. That's that's oh, awesome. really cool. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much that you can learn on YouTube, and, and yeah, it, it's great that you wanted to create your own channel for it because you know I learn everything from YouTube. I I can do this. Yeah, from YouTube. You know, like it's it's yeah. something that when when there's a need. No, it's it's great to, to jump it's, on. It's something yeah. you learn in, in business school it's, and entrepreneurship. It's perfect. Well. So that's great. So with all of that, what advice do you have for other people that want to make their own games, whether it be Roblox or Unity or Unreal, anything? The best advice I have for others trying to make their own games would to not like rush the process. Um, when you rush the process of building a game, you kind of like lose your thought and your creativity and like just like the main aspects of it. Um, and it's like saying when you rush things and then they won't like, they just won't turn up. They like, they won't be the way you want them to be. And, um, I've kind of learned the hard way. And I, my old, my friend did when we rushed, um, Coco, I mean, I told him not to rush it, but he did. And we put, kept putting out updates with bugs and issues. And like, there was no storyline to it. And it went from like 12,000 players a day to like 100 a day. And it was really bad. And I mean, that's why the game's not like a thing anymore. Um, but in the end, like if you rush something, you are able to like learn from your mistakes and fix them in the process. And there's like, n there's so much bu uh, to build like a game. There's it's nearly impossible to finish one if you if you rush it. Um, and I, you know, that's just my one thing that I learned about building a game or just doing anything honestly. in 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 general, just rushing things is something you shouldn't do. Yeah, but, yeah that's awesome. that's definitely good advice. Yeah. So going off of that, you are um, you are a student, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. And it is now summer vacation, so you have a lot of time right now. But when you yeah. don't, um, how do you find that balance? Like, because you know, coding something, having a YouTube site—that's a lot of time commitment. Yeah. So how do you balance that and your other commitments that you have? So like school, family. Yeah. So it's really hard because I mean, I like you know while doing this game, and I have been working for another like people and all this other stuff it's really hard to balance it all out especially when I was in school um like I just had no time to work and I wouldn't say I would rush it but I would kind of like just like write down what I needed to do and then just complete a task each like time by time and I wouldn't like by not rushing them I would just make sure I get them done and then make sure they're good and then you know go on to the next one but um you know, I mean, I guess you could say you rush it by like trying to get them done as fast as possible, but I, I just want, I make sure they're, they're what I wanted them to be. And, um, with balances with school and like everything, it's kind of crazy to think about. Cause like I, I, in school I had, I've been doing two sports relationship, friends, multiple jobs and all this stuff. And, um, I have great grades and everything, but, um, I kind of, I feel like going to do game development and like as that as my job or just you know like youtube and stuff it's fun to relax that's that's my relaxation i'm never like not doing anything it, either i'm like doing homework school or something else or activity you know workout or i'm just doing work like youtube and stuff and game development but yeah i have to balance that out somehow and i do in the end which is crazy but yeah oh, awesome i mean honestly I feel... like, there's a lot of adults that can't do that yeah yeah i feel a little sometimes. tired like <laughs> yeah it's really hard <laughs> it's really bad i i don't know how i do it i mean gosh especially with school and then sports it's it's a killer so but i do it so <laughs> i guess i'm a workaholic already i guess i don't know <laughs> i mean it's not a bad trait to have for a little bit so yeah yeah but don't don't make don't make that your life but yeah you know, that's it's awesome though i mean i was just about to ask you if you had a job at the, at the same time and yes yeah, uh, so i have um so. I would say so like YouTube is one of my jobs and then uh, but that's more my hobby and it's fun. Um, but, you know, I still have a lot to keep up with because people, you know, want me to post daily. And if I'm going to keep growing, I got to make sure I'm posting that weekly schedule. And if I don't get that, I'm like, oh, gosh, that's not good. And then I do have another job here. I work at like a fast food place, um, kind of like family business, but it's a lot of fun. Um, and then I would say I work with you guys and I have like two other people right now that i'm working with but uh just like building another game it's it's a lot but <laughs> yeah wow. awesome. um, yeah that is, that is quite a lot yeah. so there isn't there isn't much of a segue for the next question but that's okay so 
uh, what, right. was, <laughs> what is what has been the most challenging part of learning to make these video games for you i mean aside from um, just not finding it on youtube like is there anything else yeah i think just in general would be the programming side you know like i personally creativity and like creating the fun parts of the game are not hard for me um and like the main part of a game is programming i mean and and the design of course like designing a game but you need programming and right. that's like especially since you're self-taught it's kind of hard to learn and like i've actually like hired a few people and i've just learned from them like their scripts and stuff and uh it, it all kind of turns out in the end but like the programming is like the one thing it's just crazy like i have the ideas i'm like oh i want to do this and this and then i'm just like okay i i can't do this i don't i don't know how to do it so and then sometimes it just it's not on google and or youtube and then i'm like oh god what do i do now so now you, now you really got to figure it out <laughs> yeah and then that's when it's like you learn and i've done that i actually have done that um plenty of times in the past and I'd, i'm pretty happy for that so i'd, I'd like uh, i'd like for at yeah. this point in the in the video if, if you can find some some footage or just get some footage of like the, all that coding that you had to do for for our game that yeah for the scripting i would love to be able to showcase like hey this is what he's talking about right here. Like, there's just two. Like, yeah, no, yeah, of there's course. thousands right? of lines of code that he had to learn how to do for this. For yeah, this game. So. it's it's a lot. Um, but yeah. that's that's pretty, that's awesome. Man. Pretty fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, so outside of outside of programming, which is its own monster, mm -hmm. what other skills do you think you need to be like a video game developer or a programmer? What are the things that uh, you know that you really, really need to be good at to make a game work? Um, I like. I think creativity is a good thing. Really, I mean, there's a lot of like way, like a lot of skills out there you can have, but creativity is something important. And I feel like just like because if you're, if you, I mean, and motivation, creativity, and motivation. And motivation is not really a skill, but like, I mean. You gotta if you don't if you don't really have a lot of creativity and then the motivation's not there either, it's kind of like, oh, like you just don't want to do it, you don't want to finish this. Um, and I kind of wrote this down, but like I learned from my mistakes a lot. And I don't know if that you could say that's like a skill, but like failure to success in game design mm -hmm. and like the aspects to it, like you can't just like it's not like a win or fail, it's like a fail, 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 and then to win. Um and you just learn from your mistakes and like i mean in other parts of like game design and like just doing um all that kind of stuff i working with others i think being a leader and like a good teammate's a good thing and you know being responsive and communicative and making sure you're giving like feedback and input on everything's important too but um yeah stuff like that it's really good yeah and, and so like you said you like, that you i'm um, sorry go ahead Evan. Yeah. I was going to say, like, like you said, like learning from your failures, like that's just something that uh, creating your own business and start doing a startup. That's something that yeah. people say all the time. A lot of startup uh, people that have successful startups had about three or four pri prior failures. Right. They just and learned what they did wrong the first time and they made sure that they didn't do that again. Yeah. That's, and that's, that's very true. And like, I mean, I, I've done that plenty of times with developing a game and, um, then in the end it like turns out it's much better and it's what you wanted um but like with youtube right now like it's like 80 percent of my people aren't subscribed and i'm like oh like this is this is time like i am i gonna keep going with this like oh my gosh but just gotta, you gotta yeah, start capturing I, that <laughs> i know i'm just like i want i wanted to just get hundred thousand already i would um just like looking at my statistics and then analytics it's i would be at a hundred thousand if you know if people click the button but it's okay <laughs> guys it's just like funny. and subscribe like and subscribe it's pretty, it's pretty funny <laughs> there we yeah. go yeah cool so Shannon, I know feeling off of that. yeah no it's okay i just i i thought it was really interesting that you talked about motivation because it's not um it's not not a skill like to be able to stay focused on something. So when you're not feeling motivated, like when you come home from, you know, your other jobs and you're like, I'm exhausted, but I got to do this because I need to keep everything up. Yeah. How do you, how do you keep yourself going? So that's, yeah, that's just like, right. Is what you said. Like, I, I mean, I'm like, you know, I, everyone, like my friends, you know, they're not really doing what I'm doing right now. And I'm just like, I guess that could be my motivation, like just seeing how like I, I don't know, it's more six like I want to be successful in life and stuff. But like, mm -hmm. yeah, I just like 
I'll come home exhausted or something. And I'm like, I got to get this done. Or I'm just like, I can't, I have to do this and this and this. And I don't know that, I guess that just keeps me going. And sometimes when I'm programming, I do have times where I'm like, I just like, I'm so done. I'm like, okay, I need to take a break. That's like another thing about like building a game is like, if you run out of ideas and you're just like, don't want to continue, just stop because like, just stop that day and take a break and do it again sometime when you're ready. Cause that's when like the motivation, the fun, like creativity and the, the real stuff comes together. It's like when you're in the mood for it, like that's how, like, I mean, even just with work, like, you know, people are, have a bad day or something and then they're just not in the mood, but you should always do what you want. Like if you're focus on like I'm doing like YouTube I want it like I'm like oh I would really want to just keep growing so I'm like okay I'm gonna do this right now and just get it done with but then sometimes I'm just like I just can't so I just stop take a break and then do um some other stuff something like that but yeah, yeah. Knowing, your, really knowing, your limits know. is, yeah. Yeah, knowing your limits is great it's perfect yeah. you need to know that so yeah knowing mm-hmm. your limits that's good word yeah, that's perfect that's the way to put it <laughs> <Know your limits. laughs> honestly there's there's plenty of times where i've needed to know where my limits are too but in the real world and it's like hey yeah. i can't do that i can't add this to my workload i can't i don't have the time for that you know? right yeah it's a good you can't skill always be a yes sir. <laughs> yeah yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. you Sorry, can't always but... be a yes sir because at the end of the day it, that might be detrimental to your job you know, if you just say yes and you can't get it done then it yeah. might be fine you know that's yeah no that's so it's a better way about it Awesome. Um, um, are you all set with that question? I think there was there another part of that question, Shanna? I think there was did creating this game teach you I anything? Have the, I have and one then, more, yeah. I like, have one yeah, more. Yeah, go ahead. Why did you choose uh, Roblox and Yeah. So yeah, mine mine was the did did creating this game teach you anything about how you work best? So, you know, are are you somebody that needs to be under pressure and and stuff like that? Or, you know, do you did you find that going off the game planning this out was what helped you out with it um so i honestly kind of just what you said like planning the game and like just taking time like i said like not rushing it of course and working on it is the best like way because you're you just spend more spending more time on something is the best way of putting it but um i like i have a lot more i can build on and work on especially with like the programming side because i like that game could be much better and i'm going to keep working on it i mean i'll add some more updates later on but um and also like talks about how like some games do actually like connect to the real world like just in general like there's a lot of games out there that do and on mm-hmm. roblox as well um and i think like just taught myself teach me that i do have a more creative mind and like new ideas and stuff and um you know, kind of just how, like you said, I think uh, spending more time on the game and uh, planning things out was a good thing. Planning things out is the way to put it for sure. It's the best best way. <laughs> Definitely. Awesome. So, uh, well, Constantine, we are very, very excited to see this the completion of this game. Um, do you know about how much longer till everybody can play it? Um... Not very certain. I'm going to try and get it done between in like two weeks, maybe like a week probably because I am leaving, of course, on vacation um, soon here. So I'm probably going to get it done by this next week or so and um, should be able to play and, you know, everyone should be able to mess around and have some fun. But um, yeah, be a lot of fun. Awesome. So can you let everyone know where they can find you? Uh, you can find me on youtube.com slash twin plays or underscore yt or you can just find me on roblox and just search up twin plays dev and then uh the game should be also on there on my profile and um it should be on your guys's um website and everything like that so yeah. anywhere yeah, anywhere rel- works relatively soon relatively soon we're so excited for it so guys if yeah. you liked this video please click that like button it really does help out the channel. You can ask Constantine here. Yeah. Also, yeah. feel free to check out Constantine's channel as well. His links are going to be in the description down below. Also, subscribe to our channel to see more content that showcases how video games and apps help kids with real-world skills like planning, organization, and focus. And until next time, check out our other content on our website, lw4k.com. Bye. Bye. Bye, you guys. <laughs>